Hey, it's Josh, and I am back with another video. And have you heard about pre-exposure prophylaxis, better known as PrEP? It's basically been a game changer for the LGBTQ community because it's a pill that you can take once a day to reduce your risk of getting HIV while having sex by about 99%. And I happen to know somebody who is one of the first people in our province to get on it, maybe the whole country. And he's here with me now. Hi, Josh. Uh, my name is Brian Webb, and I'm the owner and editor in chief of Homoculture. And as you mentioned, I was one of the first people in British Columbia and Canada to be on PrEP. So, why did you want to get on PrEP so quickly? So it was really important to me when I first found out about it uh, because I really wanted to protect myself and any partners uh, against getting HIV. Uh, I'd had an HIV scare and for me it was really important to uh, get the information and knowledge that I need and to have that uh, additional layer uh, of protection in my Safer Sex Toolkit. What was it like trying to get on PrEP back then? It, it was really hard. I had to go to my primary care doctor and, and to really uh, learn more about uh, how I could get on it here in Canada. Was your doctor helpful? He didn't have no, the knowledge to be able to help me, so he reached out to uh, a doctor who specializes in immunodeficiency, and we worked together to uh, do everything that we needed to do to get me on PrEP. And then uh, was it easy to get insurance coverage? Unfortunately, no, it wasn't because at that time, Health Canada didn't approve Truvada as PrEP. And uh, so it wasn't possible for insurance companies to even cover it. And uh, so I had to go through multiple application processes with my insurance company, multiple rejections, and eventually I did get a lifetime coverage from the insurance company. And then with your website and your social media, you were pretty vocal about PrEP. So what kind of reactions were you getting from HIV positive or negative people? So initially there was some negative stigma coming from the HIV positive community because they never had the opportunity to be on PrEP and uh, they saw it as a lost opportunity. There was um, so, some um, resentment from the HIV positive community because I was in a different position and I was pioneering something where they didn't have that opportunity. From the HIV negative community, it was very different. They felt like I was uh, having bareback sex and being very irresponsible and being the cause of HIV transmission in our, in, in our community, which absolutely is not the case, as we know. So has it changed the way that you have sex, your sexual activity, anything like that? Absolutely not. So I'm a really firm believer in a, using a safer sex toolkit. So getting tested, using condoms, and uh, making sure that you talk to your partner. And uh, so it's, it's part of an entire package. And how would you say PrEP has changed your life? So it definitely has made it easier for me to have conversations and reduce my own stress about, con uh, about contracting HIV. I know that I'm protecting myself and uh, protecting others in our community. And it's just one less thing that I have to worry about. I go in, I get tested every three months. I'm very aware about my body and what's happening. So I, it's, it's just been a game changer for me in terms of my sexual health. So is this like some sort of new miracle drug, would you say? No, uh, uh, most of the treatments that are used for uh, PrEP are not new drugs. In fact, they're actually part of the antiretroviral cocktail that people that are living with HIV take. And through research and testing, uh, it was realized that this uh, pill and this combination of drugs could be used to reduce your risk as an HIV negative person from contracting HIV. And so, Brian, what do you say to people who feel like um, those who go on PrEP are just trying to have riskier sex or they're not caring about other STIs and, and stuff like that? They're worried about those kinds of things. So, uh, not everybody likes to use condoms, not everybody uses condoms, and not everybody gets tested all the time. So, and, and if you don't have those conversations with your partner, let's say uh, you hook up with somebody at, at a club or at a party, or, or and you don't know their history, you don't know their background, this is just one more method of protecting yourself from HIV, especially if you can't have those valuable conversations, um, or if you're not in a position that you are either willing to, or your partner's willing to use a condom, or have a condom ready and available. So it is a backup plan. It is a great method for protecting yourself and ensuring that uh, you're doing the, uh, one more layer 
uh, to protect yourself. So it sounds like being on PrEP has been really beneficial for you and worth going through some of the hurdles you would have had to go to being a pioneer in the area with getting on it so early. And luckily for other Canadians, it can be much easier to get on now thanks to this video's sponsor, Freddie. So Freddie combines caring clinicians with technology to make it much easier for Canadians to get on PrEP. They have free shipping, free phone consultations, and 90% of their clients actually get the PrEP for free too. Go to gofreddy.com to take their 60 second assessment to see if PrEP is right for you. And thank you so much, Brian, for being here to share your story about PrEP with all of us. I'm gonna put a link to your website in the description below and also to Freddie's website so people can go check those out. And I'll be back soon with another video. Take care.